Hello, Miguel. How are you? Hi, teacher. Is Ryan from my house? In your house? It's raining. No, no, it's not raining. It's raining in your house? Yes. Yes. Wow. wow. Really? Yes. I've been interesting because the uh, raining is not raining four days and today is raining. Oh, okay. Is it raining hard? Yes, teacher. Uh, I don't listen. <laughs> The the trend, the trend. <laughs> oh yes, I hear the thunder now. Thunder, yes. It's thunder. Okay. Yes, I can hear it now. Wow. Where is everybody today? Yes, the class is for me today. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do when you go home do you have dinner with your family yeah, no uh, I I had in my house uh, early and my family is to be cooking my wife is cooking in this moment I don't hungry your wife is cooking in this moment. Yes. What does uh, she cook? I I don't know. Oh, oh my daughter is cooking. I... Okay. Cooking. Okay. Hey, I, I see Mayra Asensio and Sara Martinez. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. What happened? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm okay, I'm okay, I think. Uh, everything is okay, I think. Okay, perfect. I'm glad for you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let's start the class. Let me see. Where's everybody? Let me see one thing here. Okay. Let me open the platform. Is it raining near your house, Maida or Sara? Miguel was saying that near his house is raining. Hi, teacher. It's not raining here. It's not? It's my house, in, the, in my house also, uh, it's not raining. Oh, okay. Okay, let me see. Let me hear. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's listen to let's listen to the exercise and then we'll see number one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, eight, nine, ten. Nine. Okay. Did Andrew A can you hear? Yes, it's okay. Okay. Rachel R or Layla L do these things. Write the correct letter. 1. Andrew 
When I was in college, I spent a semester studying in London. And even though we speak the same language, English people and people from the U.S. are very different. I guess I felt that people from the U.S. have a, a bad reputation. Some people think we're loud and that we speak our minds too much. So I tried to listen a bit more and not be so assertive, if that makes sense. I wanted to make a good impression. I suppose I shouldn't have worried about it, but I did. I couldn't help it. I loved the lifestyle there. Going out for afternoon tea was fun, and I really loved the old buildings. I mean, they're really old. We don't have anything that old in the U.S., so that part was pretty amazing. Another thing was the TV. The British have a different sense of humor. Very dry. I really like it. Their comedy shows on TV are really funny. I'd have to say my experience was a positive one overall, except for the rainy weather, of course. I had trouble getting used to that. 2. Rachel I lived in Madrid for a whole year, and I have to be honest and say that at first, well, I wasn't very happy. You see, I was homesick. I missed my family, and I just wanted to go home. Part of the problem was my Spanish. I couldn't communicate very well. But I love to eat, and that's what really saved me. You see, once I discovered tapas, oh, <laughs> let me explain. These delicious appetizers you eat. So I made some Spanish friends, and we'd go out for tapas all the time. I got to eat a lot of delicious food, and of course, my Spanish improved dramatically as well. But there was one thing that was difficult to adjust to, and that was that dinner was always served at a late hour. I wasn't used to eating at 11 o'clock at night. 3. Layla I came over to the U.S. from the Middle East. My family opened up a restaurant here. At first, I found it difficult. Everything seemed so different. Just using a payphone, for example, or going to a doctor was so different. I was pretty overwhelmed. And I guess because I wasn't feeling comfortable, I tended to make friends only with people from my country. I felt like I was living in a bubble, separated from the rest of the people all around me. But once I started feeling more confident about my English, I started meeting local people. I found them very friendly and open, and it turned out to be very easy to make friends. But there was one thing about people from the U.S. that bothered me at first. I found it hard to get used to the way they talked so much about themselves. It took me a long time to understand that you were supposed to talk about yourself, too, because that is how people get to know one another. It's still hard for me to talk a lot about myself, but I'm getting better at it. Okay. Who do you think felt homesick? What's number one? Rachel. Rachel. Okay, Rachel. Number two went for an afternoon tea. Mm. Andrew. You think Andrew? Okay. Made friends. At Tapas Restaurant. Layla. 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 Mm -hmm. Started feeling confident about her English. Teacher. Yes? I Dean is only the capital letter. Okay, let me do, let's see. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, so number one is Rachel, Andrew. Number three, made friends at Tapas, Layla, right? Number four, who started feeling confident about English? Layla. Number three is Rachel. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, number three is Rachel. So number four, what's number four? Layla. I like that name, Layla. Number five, who ate dinner late at night? Rachel. Rachel. Number six. Layla. Layla. Enjoyed the old buildings? Andrew. Watched comedy TV shows? Andrew. Tried to talk about herself? Layla. 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 All right, let's see. Why did I put also? <laughs> okay, now let's see here. By the end of this section, participants will be able to understand and use mixed conditionals. Let's see what this means. Hello, in this class, we'll go over mixed conditionals. Stay and listen to the explanation. Mixed conditionals use had or hadn't plus past participle and would or wouldn't to talk about hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. If we hadn't been so nice, we would still have our cash. If someone had broken into your room, you would probably still be trying to get home. Conditional sentences are made up of if clauses and result clauses. In mixed conditional sentences, Past and present are mixed to talk about hypothetical situations such as, if she hadn't saved so little money, she would be able to afford a new car now. If you had made reservations, you wouldn't be looking for a hotel now. Let's take a look at these examples. If Anna hadn't forgotten her passport, she would be on the plane right now. If Anna were more organized, she wouldn't be looking for her keys now. Read the sentences again. Are the if clauses past, present, or future? Very good. They are in past. Are the result clauses past, present, or future? Perfect. Mm -hmm. They are in the present. Take note that in a mixed conditional sentence, the time of the event or situation in the if clause can be different from the time of the result of the event or situation. Have you ever had problems on vacation? Tell your partner and don't forget to share with us. Try using mixed conditionals. If someone had broken into your room in the present, use had or had it. The explanation. Mixed conditionals use had or hadn't plus past participle and would or wouldn't to talk about hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. If we hadn't been so nice, we would still have our cash. If someone had. Okay, let's practice this hypothetical situations. If I had or if I hadn't, I would or I wouldn't. If I hadn't accepted the invitation to a lunch on my birthday, I wouldn't have met my wife. Did you understand that? Yes. Okay. So if I hadn't, so what does that mean? That means that somebody invited me for my birthday to a, to a, 
to eat. Somebody, a friend invited me to eat. And that day I met my wife. So if I hadn't accepted that invitation, I wouldn't have met my wife, okay? So can you give me an example, JJ? If I had or if I hadn't, Oh, excuse me, teacher. I just recently uh, connect me, and I'm not as uh, um, sure about that. <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, what we're doing is hypothetical situations. So um, we use had or hadn't in past participle and would or wouldn't to talk about a hypothetical event. So if you say if I had, if I hadn't. So listen to this, uh, JJ. One day, it was my birthday in the past. It was my birthday and a friend, she called me and she invited me to lunch. And I said, okay, I will go to lunch. Thank you. That day, my friend took her friend. Her friend is now my wife. Do you understand, JJ? Yes. Yes. So listen to this. This is my hypothetical situation. If I hadn't gone to lunch that day, I wouldn't have met my wife. Yes, okay. Yeah, what, what do you think? Um, about that situation or for another example? No, no, do, do you understand my, my example? Yes, yes, it's clear. Okay, good. Okay, so give me an example. Okay, if I'm, um, I, I am to thinking about that example. Uh, if I would to um, if I would to learn English, John. No, but, but listen, you have to start if I hadn't or if I oh. had studied English, John. Oh, okay, okay. If I, if I wouldn't, if I wouldn't. Okay, uh, JJ, JJ. Okay, listen, listen to my example. Look, look. Do you see my screen? Yes, yes, I, I okay, can look, see. Look, it says we use had and hadn't and past participle. And then we use would and wouldn't to talk. So would and wouldn't is the hypothetical event. Yes. So let me give you the example one more time. If I hadn't gone to that invitation, I wouldn't have met my wife. So in this case, you have to start if I hadn't or if I had. Yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, I'm going to try it. Um, sure. If I hadn't uh, been started to English um, two years ago, <laughs> um, I um, I haven't. Um, learning <laughs> something to english <laughs> I, i'm not sure but i i, I think that you understand me <laughs> i think i do okay i think i do okay no problem no problem let's correct that. an example uh, uh, if we hadn't played soccer we would go work extra time If we hadn't had not played soccer, we would work extra time. I don't understand why work and play soccer. Uh, if we hadn't. Okay, played, listen, uh -huh. listen, let me give you an example. Okay. Why don't people like Arena or FMLN anymore? Yes, I know there are people that don't like Bukele, but 
the, 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 the big news here is that people don't like ARENA or FMLN. Why? Because I don't have balance. Okay, because they are bad. They are liars, no? Corrupt? They um, disappointed people. Okay, good. They disappointed people. Oh. Disappointed. Do you understand what disappointed is? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So, okay, so listen to, no, no, disappointed is, what is disappointed? Defraudar. Decepcionar. Decepcionar. Thank you. I'm sorry. Decepcionar. Okay, okay. Thank you. So, people don't like ARENA or FMLN in this moment because they disappointed them. So, if ARENA or El Frente hadn't disappoint, disappointed their people, maybe they would still be a strong or maybe president. ¿Qué dije? Si Arena no hubiera, eso es lo que quiero que hagamos. Si Arena no hubiera decepcionado a sus a su gente, podrían ser fuertes aún o estarían fuertes aún o quizás fueran presidentes. That is the hypothetical situation. Pero Miguel, usted me dijo, si hubiéramos jugado fútbol, no hubiéramos jugado. Mostrado. No hubiera, quería decir el ejemplo, si no hubiéramos jugado, nosotros podríamos haber trabajado horas extra. Ok. Aunque no, no entiendo muy bien qué tiene que ver jugar con hora, trabajar horas extras. Ah, estar, estar bien matado para quedarse el trabajo. Así lo okay. entendía. Ok. okay. So, do you understand that example? If, if, um, if Arena hadn't disappointed their people, their people would have voted for them. So, okay, I'm going, to, um, Sergio, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to invent, okay? Okay, teacher. So, my friends visited me yesterday. And they went to visit another friend. And my friend told me, go with me. And I said, no, it's, I, I need to teach. He said, oh, okay. So my friend had an accident that night. He hit a cow, imagine. But the cow was in the passenger seat. So what, what do you think is the hypothetical situation here, Sergio? Teacher. Yes, my uh, can be to imagine different past. Different past. Yeah, it means different past. Uh, like a situation that didn't happen. Oh yeah, no, no. When I say imagine, it's because I'm I'm anticipating that my story is not true. Mm -hmm. I mm, know okay. I'm inventing this story, so that's why I said imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> oh, but when you say when you tell somebody imagine, it's hypothetical; it never existed. Mm, okay. Okay. So listen to this class because if Sergio doesn't under get it, maybe somebody mm. can help him. So once again, this did not happen. This is fiction. My friend visited me yesterday. And he went to visit another friend. And he told me, let's go visit Roberto. And I said, I can't because I need to teach. So my friend said, oh, okay. Well, maybe next time. Bye-bye. My friend went to visit Roberto. And he had an accident. My friend hit a cow at night. And 
he hit the cow in the passenger seat. So what happened, Sergio? Okay, if, uh, the example could be, if you hadn't been in the class, in the English class, you would be, you would have an accident too, and maybe you would have, uh, uh, you would got uh, injured. Injured, of course, yes, mm -hmm. good, okay. good. Or, very good, and remember, you can say if you hadn't or if you had. That was very good, sir. Or you can say, imagine if you had gone with your friend, you would have been in the accident in your side. <laughs> All right. Very good, Sergio. I like that. Okay, Let me see. Mayra Sensio, are you there? Yes. So listen to this. I have a terrible, terrible diarrhea today. And all I remember eating is panes chorreados. Uh, okay. But my stomach in this moment is. If you hadn't eaten that, uh, you will do wouldn't wouldn't be sick. Okay, very good. Yeah, if you hadn't eaten the panes chorreados you wouldn't be sick. All right, nice. Katya. Katya, are you there? Maritza, hi, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Maritza, how are you? Hello, fine, thanks. How is life treating you? Um, more or less because I, I got the a uh, cough because the last uh, week uh, it was raining and I was outside so I get wet <laughs> and I got the flu. Okay, perfect. That's a real story. Who can give her the hypothetical? So listen, Maritza, last week she got what? It was raining, she got wet and now she has the flu. Who can, who can tell her? That's a very good situation. What happened to Maritza? She got the flu because she got what? So who can give her an if clause? I think if I hadn't. Not you, Sara. Well, We're talking about Marita, Maritza. Uh, if she. Sara. Yeah. So tell Marisa, if you hadn't, no, if I hadn't. I'm uh, sorry. If okay. she hadn't worked for the under raining, um, she will she will probably uh, she will probably sick. I don't understand. She will probably, um, the, uh, I don't know, because I don't understand when, um, when the no, bear. Is I understand. In I understand. I understand what you're trying to say, but I'm going to let you think about it. Think what you're, just analyze what you're saying. Okay, uh, I try. Yes. If she hadn't. Okay, very good. Listen, listen. If she hadn't. If significa she que hadn't. Lo hizo. Eso significa que lo hizo. But you are supposing if she hadn't. Okay, if she hadn't, what? Okay, if she hadn't walked for the, on the raining. Okay. She will... Uh, she will, she wouldn't, uh, she wouldn't sick. She wouldn't be sick. She wouldn't be sick. Excellent. Yes. 
If she hadn't been under the rain, she wouldn't be sick in this moment. Yes, that's the hypothetical situation. Very good. Okay. Mayra Sensio, are you there? JJ, uh, Irena, are you there? You see, this is the difficult part talking to no camera. Yes, teacher. No, no camera. Sorry to be late. Good night. No. Good night. <laughs> Hello. No, it's okay, Irena. Listen, Irena, you know, Irena, have you had COVID? Yes. How many times? One time, two times? Mm, one time. Yeah. Well, I thought that I have because when I did the exam, it was negative, but uh, the doctor says that I have something about a coagulation. Clots. Clots. It was very high, and that's why he says that I, I haven't. Um, I, I got COVID when, when, remember, I think I got COVID when, like, Two months after after the country closed. Well, on the quarantine. Yes, but like I think I think like in the first week of the quarantine, I got COVID. And Remember, que lo, lo vecino querían matar a uno. Like, oh my God, he has COVID. We're going to die, everybody. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but 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 you know what? I went to the supermarket those days. I went to the supermarket. Remember that you went with a Dewey? Yes. I went to the supermarket and um, I forgot to, I my mask was under my nose. Oh my goodness. You think that's probably the reason? Yes, maybe. So give me the hypothetical situation. Well, um, let me see. <laughs> I'm, I have problems with this part, but I will try. Okay, no problem. Uh, if you were, if you were using correctly your mask, uh -huh. you wouldn't get COVID. I don't know if it's correct. Or you will not. You wouldn't get. You you wouldn't have gotten COVID. Very good. You wouldn't have got COVID. Have gotten. Have gotten COVID. Excellent. Yes. All right, good. Thank you, teacher. I am I'm kind of confused with this part. It's difficult for me. No, no, but, but no, you know, it's not difficult. It's like, let me give an example. Sara at the beginning, Sara was a little confused with her example because she was, that's why I said, no, Sara, stop and think of what you're saying. Because remember at the, at the beginning, Sara said, if she hadn't walked under the rain, she would be sick. Yes. Si no hubiera caminado bajo la lluvia, estaría enferma. No tiene sentido eso, remember? Mm -hmm. So I said, no, Sara, wait, wait. I understand what Sara is trying to say. And when Sara thinks about it, oh, okay, boom, the next example, she did it perfect. Mm -hmm. If she hadn't walked under the rain, she wouldn't be sick in this moment. So then the second part is the hypothetical part. Okay. For example, I tell my wife, if I hadn't married you, I would have married a Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, you know. What is the hypothetical situation? The, that you will marry a Scarlett Johansson. Yes. <laughs> and what is, okay, so do you understand? But listen, if I hadn't, so I'm, I, I am starting with negative. It's like a, I didn't do that. Uh -huh. I maybe, so, or, or maybe yeah, so, get something else. Yeah, so, I mean, the whole, the whole two sentences are a hypothetical situation. Yes. Yes, at that at this time, is is it sounds easy, but when I was 
uh, doing the the work, I I was very confused. Okay. No, don't worry. I'm going to give you a, a an example, and you give me the hypothetical situation. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. But I need to know who is in class today. Sara is here. Maritza is here. Mr. Jacko, are you here? Yes, teacher. All right, JJ is here. I already heard. JJ, might I heard? Okay, Milton, listen to this. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hey, do you? Um. Do you remember Giovanni Dos Santos? Yes. His father, his father played in in El Salvador in FAS. Really? I don't remember. Yes. And what happened is that. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I I have confused with another player. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. So what happened was that when like in one week when his father was going to move to El Salvador, Giovanni Dos Santos was born in Mexico. Is Toninho Dos Santos, teacher? Excuse me? He, the father, his, uh, his father is Toninho Dos Santos. I think. I think. But listen, I don't remember if he was coming to El Salvador or he was going to Mexico, but una de dos, but it was one week difference for one week. He was born in Mexico before El Salvador. One week. A class, if you don't know Giovanni Dos Santos, he was a very good soccer player from Mexico, but he, he played in the national Mexican team. For, but he, for one week? Yeah, so tell me the hypothetical situation there. Do you understand my idea, class? Um, okay, Milton, go ahead. I try, teacher. Okay, but you understand my idea, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. Is, is Giovanni's mother is is mm -hmm. good? Mm -hmm. Is is Giovanni's mother having or in El Salvador? He is in he he will probably Giovanni are but, but I'm sorry but jo, but Giovanni was not born in, in in El Salvador he was born in Mexico yes because uh, the uh, my my answer is is your mother uh, my mother? No, no, no. Uh, her, his mother. Uh huh. Uh, if his mother. Uh, uh, si hubiera esperado me, una semana. Yes, yeah, I wait for one week. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, he will probably born in El Salvador. Excellent. Yes. Okay. There you go. That's the hypothetical situation. So if Giovanni's mother had maybe waited one week, probably Giovanni would be born, would have been born in El Salvador and play. Sure. Yes, Irene. And you can say if Giovanni's mother hadn't gone, it's correct. Yes. I mean, yeah, but now you're starting negative, you finish positive. Okay. And then sure. I say, uh, if if Giovanni's mother hadn't hadn't gone to Mexico, hadn't, hadn't he, gone to Mexico, uh huh, he will he will have been have born, been, have been born in El Salvador. Okay. Yes. Good. It's very difficult for me. <laughs> Be sure. Yes. Uh, I try another thing. All right. Okay, um, if I if I had been repair my car uh, on weekend, 
I will I I I will I will be in to use on on this week. Yes. It's okay. Yes. Okay, thanks. Have you seen the movie Ted? Yes. The bear? Yeah, the bear, the talking bear. Yes. Um, four parts because uh, it's still kind of, how can I say? When you say bad expressions? Vulgar. <laughs> uh huh. Something. Okay, but do you know the voice, the voice of Ted? Yes. Do you watch Family Guy? Um, family guy no well he's very famous his name is seth farland the la voz de ted mm -hmm. and he has a cartoon the hombre gordo that is it's not it's similar to the simpsons mm. but it's family guy mm -hmm. oh, uh, yeah yes, yes, yes i i watched the series oh, okay so one day he was partying in New York, I, I, know, I don't know if where he was partying, but it, he was like drinking all night. He partied so much that night that the next day he didn't wake up, the alarm in the hotel and everybody, Mr. Farlin, wake up, wake up. And he had an important meeting. He had a very important meeting that day. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, my God. So he didn't take a shower. He just dressed and he went running to the airport. This is mm -hmm. a true story. He went running to the airport and he saw the plane. He saw the plane like, oh, man, I'm on time. But they already closed the door. Mm -hmm. And he told the people, look, I have a very important business interview. And he said, I'm sorry, I can't open the door. Please, please. And he said that he even said, I am a famous person. And the people in the, in the airport said, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> the door is closed. I'm sorry. Yeah. And he, he got very angry. That airplane hit the Twin Towers, 9-11. Mm. That exact airplane. Oh my God. Can you imagine that situation? So can you think of the hypothetical situation, JJ? Excuse me? Okay, did you hear the story? Yes. So in a different world, what do you think would have happened? In another story about um, the detail? We are going about uh, about to talk uh, tell. No. Before. No. Did you hear the story I said about the man? He missed the airplane. No, no specifically. Okay. okay. Who heard the story? Okay. I. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's try Maritza now. So, what do you think happened to him? Maybe he, if if he had been early at the airport, he would be dead because he... yes, very. I like that example. Very simple. Yeah. If he had been early at the airport, he would be dead. Yeah. Aquí hay muchas situaciones hypotheticals. Like if he had taken that plane, he would have been dead. Also, the 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 result is always the same. Yes. If he, now let's do negative. If he hadn't been drinking all night before, he would have taken the airplane and be dead. Mm -hmm. Yes, there, there are many, many hypothetical situations here, but the result was the same. He's, he would be dead. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Miguel Ramirez. 
give me a hypothetical situation. England in this moment has no queen. Why? Okay, yes, the queen died. That I understand. Or, but give it to me in a hypothetical situation. England has no queen. Okay. The England no queen. O sea, ese, ese es el ejemplo, pero dígame, explíqueme por qué, por qué no tiene, o sea, don't tell me, England doesn't have a queen because the queen died last week or two weeks ago, no, 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 give me the hypothetical situation, o sea, algo que ya no se puede cambiar. Ok, the queen. If the, the queen. queen. If the queen. Uh, are dead if the queen hadn't dead very good if the queen hadn't died i hadn't died uh, to england would still england england will will uh, would still would still, still have a queen Ah, it will uh, probably continues the queen. Yes, okay, very good. If the queen hadn't died. If the queen hadn't died. England would still, would still have a queen. Teacher, I am a try. Excuse me? Teacher, please, please, uh, I try. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good. Okay. If, if, if Diana Princess had, had, hadn't, hadn't been died. Hadn't died? Hey, that's hadn't good. Hadn't died. <laughs> uh, England uh, will, will be a, a, a good queen right now okay very good very good example but no because she was already divorced uh, <laughs> okay. but but i see your idea and it was very good yes if 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 diana if princess diana hadn't died and hadn't divorced she would be the queen in this moment teacher is is will still or will still would still would would still because remember it's a hypothetical okay always is will you can will say will too or mm -hmm. will if you are sure of the situation no because like you can say will like let me give you another example like okay. a mother a mother to a son <laughs> if you even if you are a marero, I will always love you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know the mother's love? <laughs> yes. All right. Mayra Sensio, are you there? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, 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 thought, I thought you were speaking to me. Okay. Um, JJ, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Do you know Magico Gonzalez? Yes. Is, I is, know. He, is he the best soccer player in history? No. In Salvador, yes. <laughs> but but in the world, because many people say he was better than Maradona and this and that. What happened to El Magico? Todos estamos pensando lo mismo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh, I, I think that uh, Magico it was alive uh, very um, no, no, confusing. Yeah. Okay, but but what I'm saying is, don't tell me the story. Why? I mean, give me mm -hmm. the hypothetical situation. Oh, okay, if uh -huh. um, uh, because if everybody, Magico... yeah, everybody we know how Magico Gonzalez was is. <laughs> okay, so go ahead, please. 
Ah, uh, but he, he is in, the, in in this moment. <laughs> sí, porque sigue siendo igual. <laughs> okay, go ahead. But no hypothetic about the wooden or, or no. I'm I'm sorry. Excuse me. Just give me your example, please. I, I don't know what you were trying to say. Go ahead. Okay. This, if my concern is um, um, still lived, <laughs> maybe. El, el está in, vivo aún. So that's still, not hypothetical. No, lived, lived uh, about um, um, not is not to live is uh, to to um, keep <laughs> to keep <laughs> in use in in Spain, for example. Stay. Stay. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe uh, I I don't know how to build these sentences, but I think that uh, think about it. Think about it. I mean, I think this is really analyze. Just think about it. It's very simple. Let me let me give you let me give you maybe una palabra clave discipline. Okay, uh -oh. is uh, Jorge Gonzalez um, is was disciplined. <laughs> If he had, if he had been disciplined, been disciplined in in this moment, uh, he no. will the best play. He would. No, no. Why in this moment? Because Mike Gonzalez in this moment. Uh -huh. No, we're talking about uh -huh. the past. You said. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, Mike Gonzalez. Um. Would, um being the best player if if would um, um i think that would be would would be jj listen if mahiko gonzalez have been disciplined repeat if mahiko gonzalez had been disciplined he would have been one of the best players in history. He, oh, okay, he was. He would have oh, he been. Would, he would have been um, best uh, um, player. <laughs> in history. El Chiringuito yes. lo dijo, lo que acabo de decir lo dijo en español. Si el Mágico González hubiera sido disciplinado, él hubiera sido uno de los top tres de la historia del fútbol. But everything there was hypothetical. I, I I remember one news that um the Prensa Grafica mm -hmm. um have noticed it in 1980 in El Salvador about Mexico Gonzalez. In Spanish, in Spanish say um Estas son la, la figura, la figura, estas son las flacas, porque solo eran las, las piernas las que les tomaron foto. Uh -huh. Estas son las flacas y explosivas piernas de Jorge el Mágico González. Con 11 piernas de este calibre, Salvador sería la mamá de Tarzán en el balompié latinoamericano. Eso fue una noticia que salió en la prensa gráfica en 1985. Wow, you remember that? Okay. Yes, wow. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Que lo que hay que entender es que si hubieran habido más mágicos en ese entonces. <laughs> yeah. Pero, you understand the hypothetical situation there? If, yes. Uh -huh, yes. Yeah, that, that's the hypothetical situation. If Mágico González had been disciplined, he would have been maybe one of the best players in history. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, do you okay. think that that he has a regrets about it? No, <laughs> no, because every time I watch his interviews, he he doesn't. He he says I'm happy, mm -hmm. and you know why? Because I see that Cadiz, they tell him, "Ben, I say, come here. We'll give you a house, everything. We'll give you a job." And he says, "No, thank you." Yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't want to. <laughs> He was happy in that way. <laughs> yes. yes. Strange, it's but always happy. happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Strange, but hey, if he's happy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
imagine that opportunity any other soccer player yes take me yes mm -hmm. okay but that's that's the hypothetical situation si nosotros decimos si el mágico González hubiera sido disciplinado hubiera sido uno de los mejores de la historia nos da a entender que fue bueno entonces mm -hmm. teacher yes uh, another example same if uh, Mexico González had been played in Barcelona team, he would probably still be most famous. You, yes, maybe. Cool. Yeah. Yes, it's true. If he had played in, in Barcelona, maybe he would still sure. be more famous. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Um, have you um, have you have have seen mm -hmm. play to Mexico Gonzalez in, in some moment? Yes. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. I saw him play when I was little in, in the stadium, and you know what? I I frequently see him. I think he lives by by the stadium. I remember, the, the, I remember the first play of Magico Gonzalez uh, in Honduras. I think that it was in Honduras oh. uh, versus Canada in 1970. Um, oh. I, think, I think he lives by Cuscatlan Stadium because I have frequently seen him. I see him. Not not like every day, but many times I have seen them by by the stadium when I pass. Yeah, he, he's he's a good person. All right, so let me see. Oh, Shakira's in trouble. Yes or no, girls? I don't know. <laughs> the, I saw I heard about Anos that, that he has another song. Does she has another song? I don't know oh, about no, that. No, no, but what I heard is that um, today there was a big news that I think she owes like $20 million in impuestos or something, evasión or something. Ah, she has yes. To pay. They were talking about um, last time because it's about a, a company with, with her ex-husband something like what, that what what i think is that she declared rent or taxes mm -hmm. but she stated that she didn't live in barcelona mm. but she did but okay. i i don't know so i imagine she said like oh no i visit i yes. work or something mm -hmm. but if she had done the correct way she wouldn't be in trouble in this moment. Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. It's like, imagine that este pobre Catalino Miranda. He, okay. he is in trouble. He is in trouble in this moment. Ahorita él debe estar. Si no hubiera hecho caso. Yeah. So remember, pero saben que si, lo que miran que les costó, si se ponen a pensar, estas situaciones hipotéticas también llevan la misma estructura en español. Yes. It's the same thing. Si notan, por ejemplo, ese caso de Mágico González, empezamos negativo y terminamos positivo. Si él. Oh, no, empezamos positivo. Si él hubiera sido disciplinado, significa que no lo fue. Él hubiera sido de los mejores de la historia. Uh -huh. oh, si él no hubiera tenido mala vida, <ríe> él hubiera sido eh, de los mejores de la historia. Uh -huh. It's the same thing. I mean, everything is hypothetical. All right. Yes. The exercise in the platform are difficult for yes. this. Yes, I um, 
I, I didn't think we were going to spend the whole time doing the this today, but it's okay. I mean, the important thing is that we understand and not just do the exercise, the exercise, the exercise. Yeah, but what, what I what I really want you to do is to really understand the the mixed conditions. If I had, I wouldn't. Yes. For example, if I have known, I remember maybe seven years ago, maybe. Maybe seven years ago, eight, let's say eight, I took a taxi. The, tra the taxi driver, he was very young. The taxi driver, he was very young. And he was explaining to me about Bitcoin. He he told me, oh, perdí mi trabajo. I lost my job. So I bought the car. Con indemnización. He bought the car and he bought Bitcoin. And I said, really? How is that Bitcoin? Oh, look, you, you buy it. And you, I, I, I always check on the internet if it goes up and down. ¿Saben cuánto valía Bitcoin in that time? Mm -hmm. 40 or $50. Oh. I heard about it when the price was uh, one dollar and fifty cents. Can, can you imagine that? Yeah. And and me, I was in my mind, pobre tonto este, because he, <laughs> you know, he told me me compré carro y invertí en Bitcoin. <laughs> I'm a idiot, idiot. <laughs> How much is one Bitcoin now? I don't know. Like, I think I twenty thousand. Yeah. Something. So, and you know, and but he was like happily explaining to me, no, look, the Bitcoin. So it, because he worked in the bank. Mm. So I don't know what he did in the bank. And he learned about the Bitcoins, not in El Salvador, exterior, like internationally. Porque le pregunté, ¿y cómo se le ocurrió Bitcoin? Why? So en el banco aprendí eso. Yo miraba casos de, you know. And I said, wow, if I had listened, no, if I had thought maybe more carefully, I would have bought Bitcoin and today I would be rich. Yes. Yeah. You lost the, your opportunity. Yes. <laughs> I, I imagine that that taxi driver, he's rich now. Yeah. Because he told me he spent maybe one thousand dollars in bitcoins. Okay. So in this moment, maybe he's like this. I thought that something like that it was trick. Is correct to say trick? Tricky. Uh huh. Is I for me it was a um, uh, confiability. Oh. At no. that time. Oh, uh, yes, me too. Uh, in that time, I remember I used to work in, in Telus in, in Google, and I had friends that they did, they used Bitcoin. Pero de, this, this friends of mine eran nerdos. They were like nerds. And they only used Bitcoin to buy games, buy or comprar vidas or something. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they invested their money in Bitcoins. And I said, why, why do you use Bitcoin? You're crazy, man. Yes. <laughs> now I am the crazy one. <laughs> and the people and the people talk about the under under network, something like that. It's like a network illicit. It's correct, illicit, illegal. Oh yeah, no, I, yes. I didn't. Yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> maybe. But if I had bought Bitcoins, if I had listened to that taxi driver, I should have bought Bitcoins and today I would be rich. Yes. I would be maybe 
on my way to Qatar in this moment to mm. wait <laughs> to wait for the World Cup or something. Yes. Eternal vacation. <laughs> yes. Eternal vacations. And maybe I would be in very big trouble, like with three different marriages, six children in different, with five different women. <laughs> I would be very. Uh, uh, Your wife trouble. is not there, right? No. Okay. <laughs> no, no, but no, what I'm saying is that maybe it's a good thing it didn't happen because maybe I would have had like six different children with six different <laughs> women because okay. you know how women like rich men yes and imagine me rich and beautiful oh god <laughs> okay <laughs> no, I'm joking. no i'm joking no okay class thank you very much don't worry i'm, I'm don't worry about the uh, exercise no se preocupen tanto los ejercicios preocupense por entender el tema y hablarlo okay. el ejercicio okay. pueden yeah, we'll do them tomorrow. It's no problem. We have two more days. We'll finish. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank I'll you. see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye -bye. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow.